our two questions answered. One, how did sin, sickness and death come into this world? And two, has anyone done anything about it? Well, only one book gives the answer, and that is the Bible. Genesis speaks of God creating the heavens and the earth. And then in verse 26, then God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the heavens and over the livestock and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps this earth. God created mankind with love, but love is only real by free choice. So God gave man free choice and put him in the Garden of Eden to take care of it. Genesis 2, 15 to 17. And the Lord God took the man and put him in the Garden of Eden to work it and keep it. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, You may surely eat of the every tree of the garden, but the tree of the knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat. For in the day you eat of it, you shall surely die. And we know that Adam and Eve ate of that fruit, giving this perfect world that knew no sin, no sickness, no death, over to the devil in exchange for good and evil. And this was a fall of man, how sin, sickness and death came into this world. But now we're going to the second question. Has anyone done anything about it? And I have good news. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son that whoever believes in him should not perish, but shall have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. So Jesus came down on earth, took our sin, our sickness, our death upon himself, and died in our place. But death could not hold Jesus down. For on the third day, Jesus rose from the dead in total and complete victory over sin, sickness, and death. And then ascended to heaven where he's alive right now, at the right hand of the Father, wanting to forgive our sins, heal our sick bodies, and give us eternal life. Only Jesus has conquered sin, sickness, and death. No other person, no other religion, no other king, no other person can claim such a thing. Only Jesus. So how should we respond? There's one way we can respond, and that is to receive Jesus as our personal Lord and Saviour. For only Jesus can forgive our sins, heal our sick bodies, and give us eternal life. Will you respond to Jesus? I'd like to receive Jesus now. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, I come to you as I am. Thank you for dying for me on the cross. Please forgive me every sin I've ever done. I want to follow you in your truth and righteousness from this moment on. Thank you for forgiving me. Please come into my heart and life as my Lord and Saviour. I receive you now. Amen. And if you've just said that prayer, you've made the best decision of your whole life. Now. Get to know the Lord in prayer. Get yourself a Bible, read it daily. Join a church. And if you're not yet baptized in water, arrange to get baptized. Jesus loves you so much.
cares for us and he understands come holy spirit reaching us now grace joy and